Hello teachers. If you're like me, you are going to be using your summer to plan some course content for your classes on Canvas so that when you guys go back into campus on the fall, all you have to do is decorate your classroom and make it a more livable environment. Now, I want to show you guys today how I'm going to create my home page for my Canvas course. And over here, you can see the badges that students would earn if they go on to get certified. Below that, you have some basic navigational elements that would take them to their announcements or modules and their grades. If I scroll down further, there is an overview of the class, a general class description, and I wanted to make it a little bit more visually appealing by including this sticker that I created using the Bitmoji app on my phone. You, you download it for free, you create an avatar that looks like you, and then you guys can download all these really interesting stickers. Below that, I have some basic information that should be in every syllabus, such as the lab rules my students would need to observe, such as uh, information on how I will grade their projects, student expectations, and course objectives. These are gonna be fully customizable. And lastly, I have some information over um, showing how students will contact me should they choose to do so. so um, I have some links to um, my mini bio, my portfolio, my YouTube page if they want to reach me outside of Canvas or if they need to view further information to help them with assignments, etc. So that's pretty much it so far. I'm going to show you guys how to create a course homepage design using Canvas and an add-on called City Labs. First thing I'm going to do is go to my practice course and I'm going to click on the syllabus page. Now my syllabus page is totally empty. I haven't added any content yet. All it shows me is some assignments that I've been creating for my students in the fall so far. So I have to click on edit. And to create my homepage design, I'm gonna be using an add-on to Canvas called City Labs. City Labs is not already included in Canvas. It has to be purchased to be used within Canvas. So you have to contact your school, your district, your college, wherever you work and find out if it's already integrated with Canvas. I know mine is, so I'm gonna unlock my City Lab tools by going to Shift, Control, Alt, D. All right, so I can see that my design tools loaded. This is what it looks like, the City Lab design tools. Um, once again, if you missed it, it's Shift, Control, Alt, D, which is gonna unlock these hidden tools. And the way that I like to start a syllabus uh, homepage design is by selecting one of the many templates that City Labs already has included for me. So to do that, I'm gonna go to Create and Edit Syllabus Content and open this panel. And then I'm going to select choose a theme and front page and it's going to show me several different templates that I can select from. The template that you guys choose basically is up to you. It depends on your um, aesthetic sensibilities. I am going to be creating a homepage for my husband who teaches chemistry today and I think he's going to like this bookmark template but you guys can pretty much hover over any of these templates and it's going to show you guys a little preview of what your home page may look like so having selected that template this is what it looks like so far i can now go in and start customizing um, the information within the home page so under title i'm going to put chemistry one and then under text, this is pretty much open. So maybe I want to put my school name. Maybe I want to put the teacher name. Maybe I want to put the semester. So I might want to put semester, and you guessed it, one. All right, cool. This is the course navigation, and I'm going to be adjusting that momentarily. Before I start doing that, I want to change the banner image. This banner image is not very interesting to me. It has nothing to do with chemistry. So I went and started looking through 
a website called pexels.com which shows you several different images that, that artists have put on this website for you guys to download copyright free and I just looked under science and I'm going to download it, an image that I feel has to do with the course. So to add that image here, I'm going to go to my rich content editor where it says upload and embed image tool. I'm going to select choose an image. And I'm going to click on that image, which is in my desktop now. And now I want to do is I want to alter the um, ratio of this image, the aspect ratio, so that it appears to be more like a banner. So banners are typically um, short on the sides and long horizontally. So short vertical sides, long horizontal sides. So I can pretty much adjust that aspect ratio. So it focus on, focuses on these little like um, bubble elements in the image. And once I adjusted that, I'm going to select crop and resize image, upload and embed. Awesome sauce. So this is what it looks like so far. Looks pretty good. Now I want to keep customizing what this, this, um, um, homepage looks like I want to customize the color of this banner so I'm going to close where it says choose a theme because I already selected the template and I think what I want to do here is I want to make my banner the same color as the image so this rich blood red so to do that I'm going to go right here in my city lab tools where it says customize the style and I'm going to select colors for banner theme and I can see that it's by default a dark navy blue. So I'm going to click to change the colors. Now there's some color swatches already included here, which you guys can select from should you wish to do so. That's not really the shade of red that I'm going for. So I'm going to click right here where the color is. And I'm going to drag over the spectrum until I can kind of match it with the red that I want. Okay, looking good so far. I can see that some of the text is still in blue. So I'm gonna change that right here by clicking on the swatch and selecting a different color for it. So maybe I wanna go with the same um, red. Or close to it. You guys will see that having changed the color of the banner theme, um, it changed the the text color from black to white automatically. The reason it did that is it wants your Canvas page to be as legible as possible, to be um, as easy for students to see as possible. So. If the text was in black, it would be a little hard for the students to see with a bright red background. Moving on. All right, I adjusted the colors. I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm ready to start adding some content to my syllabus, such as course objectives, lab rules, um, required materials, and how to contact my teacher. So over here, I'm going to go back to my create and edit syllabus content. And I'm going to select Add and Rearrange Syllabus Blocks. So I can see right here, I really don't have anything other than my, my banner title and my navigation and my banner image. So I'm going to go to Add Blocks. And I'm going to start adding some information to my syllabus. So I can either type it in or I can select one of the um, default headings that Canvas is suggesting for me. So I think right now I'm going to select um, course objectives because that's going to be in the syllabus anyway. 
and I can go in and basically start typing up some objectives um, that match my actual course. So in this case, course objectives for chemistry might be pass the AP chemistry exam with a score of three or above. Clearly, I'm not a science teacher, so I have no idea what their course objectives might be, but ignore that. All right, so I want to add some other things to my syllabus homepage. So I'm going to go to create new content block, and maybe this one is going to be um, required course materials. So maybe one of the required course materials might be Mm, they need to have a lab notebook, right? Maybe they need to come in wearing safety goggles for when they do um, experiments. And just to organize this list a little bit, I'm just going to go and bullet it using the rich content editor tools. All right, I can keep adding these um, as many of these materials later on as I want. I'm going to go back to add blocks and the next block to my syllabus page is going to be lab rules or lab safety rules. All right, so under lab safety rules, I would just put in whatever I want my students to know. So um, don't set fires in the lab. I'm just having fun with it, but you guys would customize it to fit whatever it is you want your students to know. Okay, I'm gonna add one last block. It's gonna be contact me and contact your teacher. And this is where you would put information that you want your students to know um, for how to reach you, such as your email, um, maybe your office number, um, maybe some kind of link that you want them to view. So if you have a lot of experiments that you guys have been, that you've been conducting um, and recording and putting on YouTube then maybe you want to include a link to that YouTube page all those options are available to you so for right now I'm gonna go and hit update syllabus because I want to see what my syllabus looks like so far and I'm thinking it looking it's looking pretty good obviously I have a lot still to customize uh, my course objectives are not done my materials aren't done my rules aren't done i haven't put any contact information but that's easy to do just go to edit and you can add that information in your rich content editor now i actually want to focus on my navigation right here this is where students would go and find my modules, announcements, whatever I want them to actually see. So I'm gonna go to my um, City Lab Design Tools. And I'm gonna go to Create and Edit Syllabus Content again. And at the bottom, there's a little panel that says Add and Edit Navigation Block. So right now there's some navigation items that I feel are kind of useless for my course so for example there's one that says start here start what so i'm going to go ahead and just delete that um, by clicking on the x icon i definitely don't want another syllabus so i deleted that i do want to leave my modules maybe i actually want my students to go to their announcements and I'm going to delete more resources and instead I'm going to go where it says add item and the item is going to say announcements. I can see that the link for this is broken but that's okay because I can fix that momentarily. I'm going to add another item. This one might be grades. Um, or course progress, whatever, that I want my students to view. And I'm going to add one last item. I can add as many or as few as I want, but for right now, 
the last one I'm going to add, I think, is going to be um, the textbook, the online textbook. So that students can just go there and read whatever passage they need. Alrighty, now I can see the modules has this really cool little icon in front of it and I want to customize my navigation panel by adding some icons to it. So right here where it says announcements, there's a little empty square and I'm going to click on it to add an icon on there. So maybe I want to add an icon of a megaphone here. If for grades, maybe I want to add one that looks like an assignment or a grade book. Okay, so I have several different um, items to choose from, but I'm going to select just this one that looks like um, a page with a with a pencil. And then the last one that I want to add a, an icon for is going to be the textbook. So I'm going to click right here where it tells me to change the icon. And maybe this one I'm just going to type in book. And it's going to show me a few different icons that I can select from. Alrighty. That's what it looks like thus far. Now, the navigation is not going to take me there. So if I click on announcements, if you see when I hover my mouse over announcements, there's nothing, there's no link. So I need to go and update that link. I'm going to hit update syllabus real quick to see my progress thus far. And this is what my page looks like thus far. I still have a lot to do. So. First thing I want to start by um, changing here is going to be adding links for this navigation here. So I'm going to go back to edit mode. And when I'm creating home pages, I basically just save a bunch of times to sa see, save my progress and see what it looks like, see if I'm content with it. Do is right here where it says announcements. I'm going to highlight it. And to my right hand side, I see several different course navigation options. So I'm going to go and click on course navigation links and I wanted to take the students to announcements directly. Okay, for grades, likewise, I'm going to highlight it and under course navigation, I'm going to select grades. Now for textbook, maybe that's a link I have already. So there's, there's nothing really here in my course navigation. So I would need to basically go and find a link to the textbook. So I would go to link to URL. And if you have the direct link, perfect. Right now I don't have a link to a textbook. So I'm just gonna type in gmetrics.net, which is a program that I use in my classes. It has nothing to do with science, but just to show you guys how that would work. So I can see if I hover my mouse over these particular um, navigation items, they are now active, they have links, so it would take students there to those navigation items automatically. Now that that has been updated, I can now focus on some of the aesthetic features of this homepage and I can focus on the content itself. So I can continue filling in my lab safety rules, don't spill chemicals, whatever the case might be. I can go in and start updating my contact info, etc or I can look at some of the other options that they have within City Labs. So again, to open City Labs, I can either click this little rocket right here or shift control alt D. So I'm gonna launch the design tools by clicking the little rock rocket. And I want these headings to actually match the red of the color banner here. So, I'm going to select where it says course objectives right here and I'm going to select customize the style in my design tools current element style and I'm going to select one of the many colors I was already using so this dark red see how it matches the banner perfectly so likewise I go to yet another um, heading and I select from customize the style one of the colors that was already um, being used in the home page so that they're all going to be uniform and a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So 
I'm now going to select update syllabus so I can see what it looks like thus far. Okay, awesome. So this is a pretty general overview of how to use City Labs to create a homepage design in um, Canvas. If there's anything that I missed, please let me know. Um, there are several far more advanced tools within City Labs, but I wanted to just kind of focus on the basics, selecting a template, customizing the template, adding your own content. And if you wanna see something a little bit more advanced, um, you can definitely let me know in the comments so I can show you. So now what I wanna do lastly before I um, stop this video is I wanna set this syllabus page as my homepage. So I'm going to click where it says home in my course. Okay, so right now home is basically just a list of modules that I have been creating and editing. And I don't want them to see this list of modules. I want them to see the home page I just spent my time designing. So to my right hand side, I'm going to select choose home page and syllabus. Save. Awesome sauce. So now when my students go and open their course for the first time in fall, this is the beautiful homepage that they're going to see. Just make sure, like always, you go and you actually publish the course so that they can actually access all the content that you spent your time designing. I hope that was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future videos, things you might want me to cover, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you really hated the video, let me know as well because all your comments are going to be taken constructively so I can create better videos for you. I hope this was helpful to you again and I hope that you guys have a productive time designing content for your classes on Canvas. Bye.